Hey, what's up guys? So over the past couple weeks, we've been playing an absolute ridiculous amount of The Division. And we've stumbled across quite a few Easter eggs and here are some of our favorites. Let's kick this off with Fred. Now, who's Fred, you might ask? It's the mannequin from I Am Legend, who Will Smith ends up shooting to pieces in the middle of his breakdown. You can find Fred in almost the exact same place in front of Grand Central Station in Turtle Bay. One Easter egg that comedy fans like myself love is in an alley in Chelsea between 23rd and 22nd Street. Activate the echo at this broken fence and you'll hear a take on the classic line, never taken a shortcut, Danny, from Shaun of the Dead. What's the matter, Deborah? Never taken a shortcut before? The Cornetto trilogy has this fence joke in every film, with one character then completely failing the jump and instead taking the whole thing down with them. It will never not be funny. I've got the power! Yeah. There are loads of signs started around the game with the number 555-0123, which is actually God's phone number that he calls Bruce with in Bruce Almighty. One location is in the Garment District at 31st Street near 7th Avenue. Wandering around Penn State Station on 7th Avenue near 32nd Street, I came across a dead guy with a violin and a piano. Next to him on the wall are these two bars of music written out, which sound like this. I asked on Twitter and the most popular answers were Game of Thrones, which nah, and Swan Lake, which is more likely as you find recordings of a little girl winning tickets to see the ballet on the radio. You're now entered to win those tickets. What's your opinion? Mine is that I want to beg Massive to tell me, please. One of my favourite British comedy characters of all time is Mr Bean and his famous chair car is in the division in Stuyvesant, but sadly his mop and broom contraption is nowhere to be seen. In another possible nod to British comedy, well, the official Division Twitter liked my tweet about this, so just saying. When I activated the first echo in the search for Heather Lau, one of the people I found was Kathy Burke, a namesake of the fabulously funny UK comedic actress. She's listed as being a personal trainer, perhaps as a joke about Kathy's character Waynetta Slob in Harry Enfield and Chums, who was far from healthy. One really nice Easter egg within the Division is that the firewall safe house in Turtle Bay is actually the Ubisoft office, which has loads of really cool things inside like the submission deadline on the whiteboard and the giant for honor poster which i can't wait to play on the wall and also a bud the robot toy from grow home but that's not the only nod to ubisoft's games go over to 29th and 9th in pennsylvania plaza and head into this apartment building the doors will be closed here i've already opened them in both of the flats upstairs you can find rayman raving rabbits and grow home board games on the shelf also, look at the DVDs and you'll find a DVD of Moriarty. Sherlock fans massive. So just south of the Wolfsden safe house in Clinton, there is a Breaking Bad Easter egg within an echo. And of course, being the drug dealers that they are, Jesse Pinkman and Walter White are at a party and so is their dodgy lawyer soul. But it is a nice little tribute, something that's been done really well throughout the division. Fans of another American TV hit can look out for special billboards that say Welcome to the Concrete Jungle, with a guy stood very much like the Sons of Anarchy poster art, with a very similar looking jacket. They can be found all over the map, including here in Chelsea at West 23rd and 8th. Heroes in a half shell. So one thing you'll be able to find dotted around in the division are some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons along with Radical Pizza. You can find Leonardo's katanas just outside the Firewall safe house and Michelangelo's nunchucks in Pennsylvania Plaza along 31st Street. If you find the others, let me know in the comments below. Adventure time, come on, grab your friends. We're going to Pennsylvania Plaza near West 29th and 8th. Fans of this children's TV show can discover a beautiful mural in a children's playground. The art style seems to be a real homage to the show and two of the characters look very much like Finn and Jake. Also you can see some mountains in the background where the Ice King might be hiding away. Within the base of operations, you can find Sam Fisher's night vision goggles next to Fei Lau on the desk in the corner, another awesome easter egg linking to one of Ubisoft's most successful game titles. Having just mentioned Splinter Cell, Tom Clancy, the H is silent, can be found, as well as Joker Nicholson, who frequently says, why so serious, for a nice Batman nod. However, my favourite is a Rick and Morty reference with one man last seen screaming wubba lubba dub dub, Rich's catchphrase he makes up. Wubba lubba dub dub! So there we have it, make sure to let us know anything we might have missed. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for way more cool stuff from us in future. See you next time, bye!